Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fill out, date, initial or even digitally sign a PDF document with the help of Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. I already have it installed on my PC as you can see, but I'll show you how you could also install it. And after which I'll show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader to do any of these stuffs, how to fill out a PDF document, how to initial, how to date, how to, you know, digitally sign it. All right, so let's go ahead with the installation process. Like I said, I already have it installed, but I'll show you how you could also install it. So if you would like to install Adobe Acrobat Reader, all you have to do is simply open your browser and go to get dot adobe sorry adobe adobe dot com slash reader and then you hit enter it brings us to this page of course we have the pro version which is down here which definitely is it's, it's not a, it's not a free version you know you would have to pay to be able to use it or oh, there's a free trial period but why not try the free one this one also has a lot of features that that's the what i'm using just the adobe acrobat reader dc not the pro version okay so you could just download the setup and install it and you are true to go now after the installation as you can see it looks like this you know and i have my pdf document here let me open it for you to see so now if i want to sign this pdf document digitally all i have to do is to open it with adobe acrobat reader so you right click on a pdf file click on open with and then select adobe acrobat reader dc now i have my document here okay this is a risk assessment form of a clinical trial for instance now you see that as soon as you open adobe acrobat reader you see this default message asking you do you want to use adobe acrobat reader as your default um pdf reader if you want then you say yes else you say no and then you have your document here okay now i'm sorry my my adobe acrobat reader is in french but bear with me it's a matter of looking at the icons not not necessarily the text you know so if we want to fill out this particular document let's assume trial number for instance this is a text that we have to fill so we can simply come and click on uh this particular button here which is fill out and sign you know this is the button as you can see fill out and sign it's in french bear with me please fill out and sign so you click on it and then you click on this first tool which is fill out and sign you click on this button and then it gives us that your cursor becomes this way and wherever you want to type in something you simply cl click over there and you start to type for instance if i want to type in the trial number i simply click here now enter the trial number let's say let's assume the trial number is dr 003 okay and who is the sponsor of the trial for instance i would say minuku minuku is a sponsor of this particular study you know and you can actually displace this anywhere you want you simply click on the the text box this way and then you can displace it wherever you want to place it okay so i can place it here this one too is not well placed i can place it here as you can see you see and now for instance there are a couple of things that we can fill for instance we want to there, these are check boxes here that we have to check so for instance uh, define risk category for the medical products or products being tested so you could say for instance category a you want to select category a you simply have the you have the these tools over here you could pick this one for instance and you come and select category a if you want to increase 
the size of your whatever you can click here and you see how it becomes bigger and bigger you see and after you can place it wherever you want to place it if you want to delete it you simply hit on the delete key and it's gone you know you can delete it if we could also even pick this one to check it okay and it's okay and right now what else are we gonna do let's assume we want to fill out something here to they said they said justification we can just type in anything now if we want to type in another text all we have to do this button remains here for the text so we say our text is right here we don't have to come back to the, this pane again just click on this button and then we can start to type in something here patient was profusely bleeding for instance patient no let's in that case let's pick for instance let me uncheck this one let me delete it and i'll check let's say category c they said what risk uh, markedly higher than standard medical care so let's pick this one for instance and then my justification let me write it okay so i think i already had a text box so let me just continue from where i stopped so I'll say for instance patient was profusely bleeding okay now i can place this text anywhere i want to place it you see how we can fill in i mean or fill out a, 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 a pdf document with the help of adobe so let's assume there are a lot of things that we can fill i'm not going to fill everything let's assume uh, for instance over here they are talking about what medical product was it you can click on this button and you can come and type in what medical product it was this you can just say a b c for the medical product you know a body system let's say so that as soon as you finish you can click the next box and you have the text box again to write so let's say body system let's say um respiratory system for instance respiratory system okay and blah 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 you finish you, you as soon as you finish filling blah blah but you can just pick just select a couple of stuffs you know i'm just trying to show you how you can fill out your document and when you finish let me show you something how do you um how do you initial how do you date first of all how do you initial and whatever it's the same process i have my date here if i want to date then simply click on as you have this button it will give me the ability to type in something so let's assume it's on the um, it's on uh, let's say fifth uh, sorry i said fifth it's on may so you can say for instance may um 24 2021 so i finished dating right and now um let me write for instance my name okay and after writing my name i'm gonna sign so now how do i sign to sign is very simple you simply come and click on this button over here and if you have already uh signed a pdf document with adobe you see that your previous signature remains so you could just click on it to select it and place it here if it's too big you can reduce it by clicking on a small a here but in case you have never used uh what should we call it we have never used i'm not trying to say you have never used i mean in case you have not previously signed a pdf document with adobe you wouldn't have any um, pre-existing uh, what we call a signature to use so let me delete this okay so let's assume when you click here we can actually remove this by if we want to add a new you know in case let me show you if i should click on a manner sign it will go see that the that one goes you know 
and then they are asking me to write my own signature let me let's take it again okay when i clicked here and i click on the minus sign i was able to delete the pre-existing uh, signature and now i have the possibility of adding a new signature so you simply click on the plus sign and by default you know it has given me um what do you call it my initials you know because it has actually it has used my username the username of my pc to give me an initial if i don't want this this just if i should apply this by default you know have it here so and i can drag it down to wherever i want to place it as you as you just scroll down it moves with the mouse at the same time okay so let's let's here so i can just come and place it somewhere here you know i can i, I can increase it but this is not a signature anyway this is just um these are my initials the default initials that it gave me so if i don't want this let me show you let's delete this and i'll now show you how you can sign or draw your own signature so you click here click on always this button and then you know that this in this initial you want to remove it so you simply click on the remove button and it's gone you know now i can delete it and then draw my own signature so this is it will click on the second button here for drawing my own signature now now start to, to draw my signature so let's draw it draw a very beautiful signature for yourself okay i've drawn mine you can draw it just left click and hold and you can draw your signature if i want to remove it simply click here and it's gone let me sign again let me try drawing the same signature see that i'm drawing it as if i'm using a pen you know but i'm actually using And it's done. Then we can remove it. We can draw as many as possible. And then we select the best. Whenever it's good, we just keep it. Sorry. Let me remove this and restart. Let me remove it. Let me draw. This should be my final signature. Okay. I'm not going to waste your time. See this how you can draw a signature. It's another beautiful one. Okay. And we can just apply this so that we wouldn't waste so much time. And you see that it moves with the case i just come and place it here and we can increase it a bit increase it a bit and you can drag it to wherever drag it and fill the space let's reduce it a bit and i've finished signing i've dated i've signed you know initially i showed you how to initial if you want to initial let me let, let, let me show you how to initial let's delete this and then when you click on this button right here you this it is for initially so i already have my initial if i should delete this click on minus and it's gone now you can add your initials so you can click on this button here and there here is where we add initial so it's it has abbreviated my name sm i can just apply this or if i want if i have i can just write my initials for instance um bd or BG for instance these are my initials or BG this way and you just click on apply and you have your initial so this is how we can also initial now the final thing is when you have an a, uh, what should I say a pre-existing or an existing signature that is in the form of a picture how do we also import that's what I'm gonna show you so we can delete this one do you want initial you can put your initials if you click here you have your signature here you can add it you know whichever that one that you want so let me show you the final step 
in case you have your signature existing on your on the desktop for instance we can just click on the minus sign or let's click on the initials no let's click on the minus sign for the signature and it's gone now you click on plus to add a signature and over here in sort of this for this this for these are your initials you know typing you know i can apply this i can write on i can click on draw my own signature to in order to draw my signature i can click on picture and then browse and select my the, my picture so i already have it on my desktop okay so you see that when i click on the picture icon it has opened um, my windows explorer and i'm gonna select go to my desktop and i'll select this picture here and click open and i have it here and i can just say apply you see this is how it and i just place it here it's actually a picture and i can reduce it a bit you know drag it place it well you can increase the size you can decrease you can delete it if you want and you have we have finished initialing sign failing we failed we initialed we've we've signed we've done everything we've dated and now we can what save this particular document on the desktop how do we do that by clicking on this button here and then after which we can put it on the desktop and we can name it uh it's no longer a template let's say as risk risk as let's say signed risk assessment form signed risk assessment form and we are true to go let's put it on a desktop save and it's done i can close my adobe where is this is the document here signed risk assessment form let me open it by double clicking on it and you see that all the changes that we've applied to this particular document have been saved so you see that the form is filled as you can see it has been filled out and we have the signature and everything right down here thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to mini tutorials for more int interesting tutorials like this